The Texa Comfort 780 Dual Gas Equipment provides fully automatic functionality for the complete AC service process. Through the duration of the service, three main stages of the AC service process are clearly visible at the top of the 10-inch touchscreen. Recovery, Vacuum, Refrigerant. During each stage, the names of each step in the process are clearly visible with percentage of completion. This color-coded information is made clearly visible from a distance so the operating technicians are easily aware of status by simply glancing at the screen. The process will be the same for the Comfort 760 as well. First, you're going to start off by selecting your vehicle in the vehicle database. Today, we're going to be working on the Toyota RAV4. So we'll start off by looking up Toyota, then scrolling through the models, and finding the model that matches our engine. On this screen, you would input the customer's information, but we're going to be skipping that for now. If you select your vehicle from the database, it will automatically populate how long the vacuum length is and how much refrigerant will be charged into the vehicle. However, if you choose to do the customized service, you can input how long you want the vacuum to be and how much refrigerant you would like to inject into the vehicle. Now the Comfort is cleaning out the hoses to prevent contamination into the tanks. At this point, you would connect the low pressure hose to the vehicle for the system to do refrigerant identification. During this step, it's taking in a little bit of refrigerant through the low side to analyze it to see if the refrigerant is clear or pure. Once it recognizes the refrigerant is pure, it'll let you continue with the service. During this step, you'll now connect the high side hose and then press the continue button. As you can see, the recovery process has started. Now the system will undergo an internal cleaning process so it can pull a vacuum on the vehicle. Here we have the full amount recovered from the vehicle. Now it was draining any oil recovered from the vehicle. Now the system is discharging any non-condensable gases. Now the system has started their vacuum cycle. Once the vacuum cycle is complete, it will do a system hold to make sure there is no leak in the system. Here you can see the leak test process. Once the system passes the leak check, and will begin to inject refrigerant. You will turn your blower motor on low with your AC switched off and set to the floor setting. Using a SAE J2913 compliant leak detector set on high, check the vents near the floor for any leaks. If no leak is detected, you can hit the continue button. Once the test was performed, you will press yes. If there was no leaks found, you will press no. Depending on the vehicle you are servicing, you will select if there is an auxiliary evaporator or not. Once you perform these tests, the charging cycle will continue. When the charging cycle is complete, it'll ask you to do an AC system check. The manual AC system check consists of starting the engine, keeping the RPMs at about 1500 to 1800 RPMs, and switching the AC system on, setting the temperature to minimum and the ventilation to maximum. At this point, you will check your gauges and make sure they are within spec. If the gauges are within spec, you will go ahead and disconnect the low pressure and high pressure coupler from the vehicle. Once you disconnect the hoses from the vehicle, the system will do a hose cleaning. 
Now the comfort is doing a deep internal cleaning of the manifold. Finally, you will have a summary of the service you just completed. You can choose to share or print this directly from the comfort system. If you choose to share, it will be sent to you via email in a PDF file. Congratulations, you have successfully completed a full service on the Comfort 780 system. For tech support, you can call us Monday through Friday, anytime between 8.30 and 5.30. Also, please check out our social media and YouTube channel, as well as our website, texausa.com. Thank you.